I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by Chair of Benidi, Christian Chapman. Well, first of all, thank you both very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Very much appreciate it. So thank, thank, thank you. you for having us. So, Cell Therapy Day. Why have a Cell Therapy Day? Well, this is the fifth edition of the Cell Therapy Day. So, five years ago, the goal was to bring to EBMT not only clinicians or basic scientists, but all the healthcare professionals who contribute to the success of transplant, including people working in collection facilities, people working in processing facilities, and not only physicians, but also technologists, engineers, and so forth. And, and what are we going to hear about today? Well, we're going to hear a lot about cell therapy, application from preclinical to clinical to registration, Really, cell therapy is in a very exciting moment uh, of its development. Running alongside Cell Therapy Day, you, you have your own working group, but tell us a little bit about that working group and, and, and some of the work that you're doing. So, uh, the Cellular Therapy and Immunobiology Working Group started being named in this way a little bit more than a year and a half ago. and uh, it's been really active, it's been really lovely to work on it, especially with the help of Christian. Christian. And uh, um, we've been trying to foster uh, immunobiology studies designed to understand better and better transplantation and improve it. But in parallel to this, we, we tried really to um, give rise to new activities to promote cell therapy. So we're talking about uh, trying to register data from patients that are more and more treated by this approach, trying to do a survey and understand which are the centers more active on this, which kind of cells we're using as therapy, and, and so promote the field in this way. It's been really a very exciting environment, the one of the Cellular Therapy Working Party. Actually, I would like to invite everybody to our business meeting tomorrow morning at 7. <laughs> And in your own work, in terms of uh, gene editing, tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's a project that I, I really love, that is going on uh, in, in the lab and in, in San Raffaele, because I think it's uh, sort of the new generation gene therapy approach. So gene therapy started uh, with the idea of taking a cell in which you lack a gene and you add this gene to the cell to have a new function. But this is not exactly what we had in mind at the beginning. What we had in mind at the beginning was to take a cell which has something wrong, take away what is wrong, and then add what you need. And that's what we're trying to do with the TCR gene editing. We have now the technology to really uh, modify, edit the genome. So if we have, let's say, a lymphocyte specific for an antigen that we don't care, we take away the gene for this specificity and introduce a new gene which will make the T-cell specific for a cancer cell, for example. So this is added to edit a function of a cell. And I look forward to see it in the clinic. It's still at a preclinical phase. Uh, and part of this year's meeting as, uh, is the uh, Jan van uh, Root Award. Uh, has that been announced yet? The Jan van Roder Award will be announced tomorrow, but we would like to reserve the privilege for people attending the uh, working party uh, session to discover. Uh, we have uh, had a choice, a very difficult choice, between uh, very good papers and uh, we have selected a very bright young scientist uh, who will deliver his or her presentation tomorrow. So people need to come along tomorrow to... They will need to come along tomorrow. Last year we had a very successful, very nice session. The room was absolutely packed, so this year we requested for a much larger room and hopefully we will fill it again. So moving on till, uh, to next year now, so the, the Congress is in uh, Marseille and you're going to be president of the Congress next year. Yes, Marseille, uh, myself and all of my colleagues will be very happy to uh, welcome all the uh, delegates uh, to southeastern France and to Provence. And what we expect is to provide a friendly environment to further explore all the aspects of uh, bone marrow transplantations and modern cellular therapies. And especially we believe that we live in a very exciting uh, time where we have new technologies like the one uh, just described by Chiara uh, that raises not only medical, technical, biological issues, but also societal, financial issues. And we will try on top of uh, the, uh, I would say, historical 
uh, uh, work of the ABMT to add on these aspects. Well, thank you both very much indeed for speaking to us today. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Very thank much. you for having us.